talk about uh, the clock choke as part of it as well, okay? Now, probably gonna mix up our pass a little. So if you have a partner, you remember we go one person the whole round and then we'll switch so everybody gets their own round of work. If you have a dummy, don't worry about it. You just get two rounds. All right, my friends? We'll bow in. And let's hit the floor. Let's warm up on the mat. Remember, you might be at an apartment. You might be on the carpet. Let's not bang on the ground too hard. Mess up anybody's knuckles or piss off anyone's neighbors. There we go. All right. We'll start off with our break falls. Nice, easy. Let's just roll out our back. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Come back, Purple Bell. Ah, my. Ah. Remember, we're not going fast. We're just trying to warm up. And let's switch to our triangles, hips to the sky. Triangles, alternating the lock. Make sure we're hammering those feet. Pick up those hips. Nice. And let's switch to Kimura's. Remember, watch out for your partner. Don't headbutt them. Ah. Grabbing that wristwatch, nice easy pace. Ah. And we'll switch to bridges. Make sure we're looking the direction we bridge. Up and over. Ah, give me a little reach. Open up that hip on the side you're bridging. All right, so let's switch to shrimps. Shrimping in place. Make sure we're alternating sides. You get warm now, your pace can pick up a bit. <laughs> Almost done. Let's go uh, sit outs. Turtle. Let's go to turtle. In the turtle, we'll hop up to our hands and feet. Sit outs. Right leg slides underneath. Left elbow to your hip. Switching sides. Nice, easy pace. Don't kick your partner. Come on, Purple Bell. I have an injured shoulder. Oh, jeez. Excuses right out of the gate. Let me see this camera. Ooh, it's not quite better. Good work, my friends. We'll catch our breath. Check out the camera. Let's change up our pass a little bit. If you have a partner, then they're just going to go feet to hips. If you have a gi dummy, then we're just going to step into the headquarters. Uh, and kind of just have to imagine the feet on our hips. I'd like to work the knee slides. Ooh, excuse me. But uh, I think it's really important that we talk about the smash pass first. I think that, and you'll hear this called a lot of different names. You're called the leg weave. Probably it's the most common name, honestly. But So for us, like we're going to leg weave into the smash pass. And I like to go to mount from there. Now, if we have time, We'll play some fancy stuff, but first let's make sure we feel comfortable with the smash. We're gonna go to headquarters. Now with your gi dummy, you're gonna have to imagine a little bit where that uh, kneecap pressure is gonna be. With your partner, really easy. They'll tell you when it's right because it's very uncomfortable, okay? So we're gonna stand up. We're gonna step in the middle. So it's splitting our partner's legs, and we're gonna step up to where we're square, right? My feet are right next to each other. I'm directly over one of her feet. We're going to sit on it. Now, back in the day, right, 
I'm old enough now in jiu-jitsu to have a back in the day. Back in the day, we used to not be too picky about where this leg was on the outside. You know, it's uh, even in today's game, most likely, like if you have the pressure right, your grips right, where your hips are, it's not going to be too particular. But uh, if you've been training in our daily HEVA series, either before all this started uh, with us in Boulder or even on online, if you check out Easton online in our advanced class section, you'll see that the De La Hiva has developed some answers to headquarters, right? Just some things to make you have to be really careful while you're here as the passer. And one of those is she's just going to kick and try to put my hand on the floor. So let's rewind. You sat down on this foot. She's going to take her daily heba hook and put it underneath that foot you sat on. So now it's like uh, she's got two legs. Yeah, a little bit stronger now, right? And she's going to use that collar grip to bring my head forward. So now when she brings my head forward and kicks, it's really hard for me to stay sat down. I got a post. She'll go back to daily heba now, right? So when we play headquarters here, let me show you this one. And uh, again, we have to imagine a little bit with our e dummy. But for my cats with partners, I want to get really picky now with this outside leg. I want to take that outside leg, put that kneecap right behind that hamstring. And the reason for that, guys, is it's going to allow me to stay heavier in the headquarters, and it breaks the chain of her leg extension. So now when she goes to lift, she can't get this hip to the floor to kick me over, all right? So really small detail, but uh, that invisible jiu-jitsu right there will keep you out of the recycling of the De La Hiva, right? So if I can get to headquarters and jam my knee into that hamstring, I'm good to go here. She's going to have a really hard time lifting me over. Now, let's go back to the regular leg beat. So we step in the middle. You good? Yeah, I'm trying to get to there. I step over, their foot's right in the middle. I sit down, but now I'm going to start shading to the right because I want my knee in the back of her hamstring. Because I'm shading to my right, I'm going to be able to put mad pressure on bringing her legs together this way. Right? So, what our goal is, guys, is to step in the middle, step over, knee in the hamstring. Walk to the right. When I walk to the right, notice that my right foot starts extending her bottom leg, my ankle to her Achilles. It makes room for my knee that was in her hamstring to slide across the leg and split the middle of her knees. I still have the collar grip. I still have the pants grip. Now from here, guys, we're going to come down and bring some pressure. When I bring the pressure, I'm going to look for a cross face, and this knee's going to hit the floor here. Now, the goal is to try to keep my head from being able to be used against me. I don't want to have it so low that she pushes my head down and can shrimp out. I don't want to have it so high that she can push into my shoulders and start breaking the leg weave. So I'm going to probably try to go shoulder to shoulder, my forehead and her chin, my right leg, that big heavy post. Now from here, guys, let's go all the way to the mat, okay? So I'm going to take my right hand off the collar, and I'm going to go into a cross face. So remember that shoulder adjustments we've been working on in Zoom? Here it comes, and this is when it matters. I got to get her looking away. So now I can take my left hand out, off the knee grip, and underhook. Now from here, guys, we're going to get rid of this frame. She wants to use it against us, press against our hip. Now I let my right leg in. We're going to go to the elbow, lift. My right knee hits the armpit. My left hand walks because now my left hip is going to step over into the mount. Now guys, we worked on a gang of chokes from the mount position. So you got all your cross collars, your post in the danger zone, all your S mounts. 
right? So after you pass and you make it to the mouth, I would like for you to finish, all right? So senior students, hop up for me, and we're going to walk through it together. So, we're going to step one foot in the middle, one foot over. Let's go to headquarters. Right hand on the collar, left hand on that knee grip of the leg you're sitting on. Now, let's take our left knee, kneecap to the hamstring. Let's take our right foot and start shuffling to the right. That kneecap and the hamstring is going to slide like your leg dragging, right? But now it's, uh, I'm inside out on the drag. My right knee is going to come down as my right hand shoots across face. My right foot is stepped out. We can get really picky here with our left foot guys on how it's holding on to her legs. We'll save that for later in class. For right now, I'm not too worried. Just make sure your right leg is out nice and wide because that right knee is going to have to make it to the armpit at the end to make it to mouth. So here we go. Right hand across face. Left hand, let go of the knee grip. Left hand, underhook the armpit. Now, right hand, go grab that elbow of the arm that you're not controlling. It should be right on your hip. Pick it up. Put that elbow in your armpit. Slide your right knee to their armpit. Now we're going to walk that left hand high, removing the far side frame. So our left leg can step over their hip all the way into the mouth. From here, dealer's choice. All the chokes, arm locks, whatever feels good for you. Now, we're getting into some advanced jiu-jitsu. Does anybody have any questions before we get into our reps? You guys feel pretty good there? Thumbs up, we feel good. All right, senior student, you're going to go first. Junior student, lay down. If you have questions, just holler at me. We'll get started at the clap, guys. On three, one, two, work time. Remember, if you get lost, Beth will be right behind us running in on Stuffy Buddy. Perfect. So headquarters, knee to the back of the hamstring. You have a collar grip and a knee grip on the leg that you're controlling. You're going to walk to your right. Sliding that knee from the hamstring to the floor, splitting their legs like a funky leg drag, right? Like you have the wrong leg in the leg drag, like we've been working all these past few weeks. Now from here, your right hand's going to go cross face. Your right foot's going to step over that leg nice and high. Your left hand's going to get an underhook. And you're going to start grabbing that elbow with that right hand, pulling it up to our hips so you can bring your right knee to the armpit. Now that left leg is going to step over their hip straight into the mouth. Very nice, Thomas. Good work. Hey, all right, Quan, let's see it, buddy. We moved to headquarters. Yeah, that, that trap with that kneecap, exactly. Pin that hamstring, they won't be able to float us out of headquarters. Nice, there we go, John, good work. When your right foot steps over her leg, your right hand's gonna cross face. So be careful to Isabella here. I don't wanna smush nobody, but this is kinda like going to the chiropractor, right? They get twisted up a little bit here. Now your left hand's gonna get an underhook. Nice, now your right hand's gonna go dig out her elbow. So your right knee can go in that armpit. Nice, left hand walks, so left knee can step over to the mount, and here's where we'll finish, John. Yeah, whatever you want, my friend, dealer's choice. Perfect. Remember, guys, if you get a little lost, best right over my shoulder, you can hop in on her rep, she's running the same technique. Nice. You want to back him up just a bit? Thank you.
Very nice, Wendy. Your choice. Submissions, perfect, perfect. Give me one more rep, everyone. One more rep, and we'll switch bottom to top. Nice, Shalane. Stepping over, knee in the armpit, right hand underhook. Yes. And now that right hand will walk high. Perfect. Now both hands are up, so you get any submission, right? The choke will be there, arm locks will be there, whatever you're looking for. Good work. All right, my friends, we'll, uh, let's switch bottom to top. So if you got a gee dummy, take a break. If you got a partner, let's switch. Junior student, please go along with Beth. Ah, we'll get to run through the whole thing. Now remember guys, this pack gets you all the way to the mount, which is our main goal. But step one is just as important as step six, as is the finish, right? There's no finish without hitting some of these key moments. So let's take our time and make sure we're getting every step, right? Because without one, the whole thing falls apart. All right, so here we go. She's gonna step in the middle, step over. She's killing my right leg. Notice she has a knee grip of the leg she's killing and a collar grip on the other side. Now, her other knee, her left knee, we'll call it her outside knee. It's gonna start walking in, kneecap to hamstring, because it makes it really hard for me to kick her off now. As she does that, notice how her right leg's walking over too, creating a big gap between my two knees so our left knee can slide to the floor. Now, it's kind of like the leg drag we've been working the last few weeks, yeah? Her right leg's gonna step over. At the same time, her right hand's gonna cross base. Her left hand's gonna underhook. Now, before she goes, she needs to get rid of my left arm. So do your student. Right hand, grab the elbow, lift it up, and slide your knee in their armpit. From there, your left leg is going to step over while your left hand walks high and you make it to the mount. Dealer's choice, do your belt, choke or arm bar, just finish with the tap. Good work. Again, if you get lost, Beth will be here running technique. Does anybody have any questions? Thumbs up, you feel good, junior students. All right, here we go on three. Ready, one, two. Work time. Perfect. There we go, Soros. Pick one. Somebody's got to go. Nice, Quan. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Triangle City, very nice. So if you're working this with a partner, they're gonna start feeling some pressure. Let's be careful with everybody's back, but we want them to feel like they're kind of getting twisted up in half, right? Their upper body's looking one way, their lower body looking the other way, and that's gonna move us into the mount. Nice. Uh oh, my Pearl Bell's taking a break. Uh, there she is. Pearl Bell's tired. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't see all the rolling before. I know, she beat me up. You guys should have seen it. Nice, Ethan. Yeah, keep walking that right leg. Yeah, kick hit dad's leg straight. Perfect. That will give us room for our left knee to fall through. Cross face, underhook, step that right leg over. So here's where dad starts to feel like he's getting twisted up. I'm gonna take that right hand, dig out the elbow, put that right knee in the armpit. Nice, well, let's put it on the floor, knee on the floor. Yes, left hand walks while left knee steps over the hip, straight into the mount. Nice. Good work.
Yep, here comes the smush. Perfect, walking it out, walking it out. Right hand cross face, Isabel. Yes, step that right leg over. Nice, now left hand underhook. We're gonna start sliding that right hand. We're gonna grab the elbow, lift up on the elbow, and put our right knee right in the armpit. Nice, and now our left hand's gonna start walking high as our left foot walks over the hip, straight to the mouth. Yes, there we go. All right, John, get choked, buddy. Yeah, let's see the choke finish. Good work. Nice job, my friends. Good work. Two more reps, two more reps. Ben, how you feeling, buddy? Good, I got a couple quick questions. I'm down, man. Let's hear them while everybody's getting their reps. Um, first one is sort of the point where you're moving your right foot um, up and going to the cross face. Are you dropping your knee there? Or are you keeping that foot up while you cross face? Yeah, you'll probably have to drop your knee to be able to reach the cross face. And once I have the cross face on, that right leg is going to step over anyway and look like, uh, like I'm in leg drag, but in reverse. Right. And then bringing the left foot over, like on a dummy, is that a really high step or is that kind of, can you slide that over? Let's keep it only as high as it has to be, right? I want to stay pretty sticky there and slide my way up so I can keep that pressure consistent the whole way through. Okay. I so just sometimes I have like to step high. Bigger. Yeah, sometimes I'll have to step high because they're bigger. Other times I'll want to keep it low just because, like, that big guy, I don't want that big femur to get swinging, right? So I'm going to compress. Awesome. Thank you, Professor. Great question. Good work, my friends. Finish this rep. Get one more. Your Uki's getting arthritic knees. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice. Man, we're about to get super fancy, my friends. So hopefully this leg weed's feeling good for you. Because we're going to hit the truck like we've been working, but it's going to look a little different tonight. <laughs> nice. Good rep. Good rep. We'll finish. Fix our D's. Take our partners. Well, let's take a look. Now, I want to do everything the same, right? Split the legs, step over to where I'm square. I'm sitting on one of my partner's feet. We're going to go right hand collar grip, left hand knee grip, smush. But remember, we're a little picky. That left kneecap in the back of the hamstring. So that means we're going to be constantly walking to the right. Does that make sense? Because I, I want to show, um, you know, it's, it's tough to say there's hard rules in jiu-jitsu, but there are some concepts that I need to constantly be paying attention to, right? Uh, one of those being that when my partner can open their hips, the guard is always in play, okay? So when I'm passing, especially with the leg weave or headquarters in general, if I get to headquarters, I'm going to almost always try to initiate the leg weave. Because if I start forcing my partner's knees together, I'm closing their hips. If her hips are closed, the guard is dead, okay? So this will elicit some really predictable responses from our opponent. When I start to close her hips here, she's probably gonna try to shrink away. See that motion? She's trying to get her knees back open, yeah? Because when I went to the weave, I was collapsing the guard, by closing the hips through the knees. They're like the gatekeepers to the hips, right? So if I can push the knees together, then the hips will die. So notice how Beth will shrimp here to try to open her hips by opening her knees. That's how I know when to go knee slides, okay? So if I walk up to someone's guard and I go headquarters, and I start to walk the leg weave, they open the guard, pause. See that big open space? We still had a grip on the knee. So as soon as she shrinked out to fix the guard, I bring my knee through. And that's how I know to go for the slice. 
not what we're working tonight, but something that I think is really important, like conceptually to understand. If I'm forcing the hips closed, then every time she tries to fix and reorientate by opening her hips, I have a chance to slice through. Okay? Now, <laughs> let's get to the, the fun stuff. We're in headquarters. We have our knee in the hamstring. We walk to the right. We drop our left knee through. We step our right leg up and we cross face. Now, not everyone is gonna let you get that deep, right? Particularly with the cross face. A lot of times I try to come in and here comes Franks. She knows that if I get a hold of her neck in this position, her spine's locked up on two ends, the guard is dead. So she's gonna fight like hell right now to not let us get up here. So when we feel this, this hand, guys, it's going to go a little different direction. We're going to try to get in here and then just settle for not being able to. We're going to keep the grip, pull ourselves forward. She's going to frame up, and we're going to hang out for a second. Now, from hanging out, my left hand is going to let go, and I'm going to pummel the underhook. So we're going to get the underhook first instead of the cross face this time. And that's because she was playing such good friends. Now, from here, guys, your left foot, it's going to snake right through the middle. Notice how I stuck that hand, or this foot through? I want to see it. Now, remember that our right leg hadn't quite stepped out yet. And that's okay. When I let it go, like we step over for the pass, instead of passing, I'm going to jam that foot back and curl it with my left leg. All right, now I know it's getting a little fancy, hold on. Now my right foot's gonna curl, and I'm gonna crisscross. Now, this outside X might be a little uncomfortable for some of us, this outside lockdown, so if you need to, switch it. My right foot will curl inside. My left foot will curl around my, or my left knee will curl around my right foot. And now my left foot will get right on top of her ankle. So we're into the lockdown that we were using in truck the last two weeks, but we're doing it from the top position. Now, remember how we couldn't get this hand to frame, or we couldn't get a cross face because she was holding our bicep? She can have it now. My left hand that has the underhook, my right hand is going to go through the armpit as well. Right? So I end up elbow to elbow so my left hand can come out. Because here we go, guys. You're going to put your right armpit on the belt. You're going to roll it over your right shoulder. And bang, we're right back in truck. Now, the thing about this particular truck, because we are rolling over, sometimes their momentum will just start carrying them over. Be ready to go ahead and hook that bicep to keep them from turtling, turtling completely over. And now my right hand can go under the neck and we're on to the back. All right, so I'm going to show it one more time, and then we'll walk through it together, okay? So one more time to see it. We're in headquarters. Right foot in the middle, left knee behind the hamstring, left hand pants grip, right hand collar grip. Walk to the right. Drop your left knee inside, but don't step your right leg over yet. Right hand collar grip. As you step your right leg over, you are going to go cross face, but she blocks. So now my left hand is going to pummel underhook. And now my left foot is going to kick through between both of her legs, like I'm going to try to touch my feet. But that's only so I can get a hold of crossing my ankles on top of her knee. Now, we're going to take our right foot curl it under, take our left foot, curl around our right ankle. So when your left foot dives through and you crisscross, it's just to maintain. Because if she does anything funky here where I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to roll over, or if she gives me the cross face like she is right now, then I'm gonna bail and go back to the mat. I don't have to get fancy. This is happening because she's not letting me secure the face. So we'll always crisscross first, just to see, right? Now she keeps the frame so I can't get to the head. Right leg. 
it's going to curl towards my left knee. And my left leg is going to curl around that right leg. So I'm going to triangle my right ankle. Now my left foot curls to my butt, rotates until I end up ankle to ankle, top of my foot to the top of my partner's foot. My right hand's going to come out. And we're going to go right armpit to the belt. Your left hand can grab their pants, or it can just be on the floor to help you roll over your right shoulder. Remember, guys, okay, look at their legs. If I roll over looking at her hand, I'm going to break her, All right? I can't go this way. I look towards the legs. So your right armpit over the belt. Roll over your right shoulder. And it's party time. Their hips are up. We don't want to let them fall to the mat. Right hand goes in front of the thigh. Left hand grabs the ankle. I connect my hands. Look, you're already in the lockdown. You know the banana split from here. I'll let go of the leg with my hands, but my lockdown stays because my lockdown pushes down. My left hand hooks under the armpit. My right hand hooks under the neck. And we're on to the back. All right? Man, it's a Zoom class, which means I'm so stoked to have you here, which also means I'm going to show you shit from the, the deepest end of some of our advanced stuff. Man, let's have some fun, okay? Let's see some high-level jujitsu in our living rooms, all right? Take care of your partners. Senior students, stand up. You're going to run a rep with me. Now, if you have a gi dummy, everything's gonna work fine. You're just gonna stay focused on the crisscross of your lockdown, right? The triangling of your legs. Once you roll over, you'll see that you're still, you're just exactly like you were in the last few weeks in the truck. All right, here we go. Right hand, collar grip. Left hand, pants grip. Step your right foot in the middle, left foot on the outside. Left knee in the hamstring. Start walking to the right. Left knee splits their legs. And now, junior student, that grip that's on your collar, I want you to put both hands on that bicep. Don't let them get to your face, which just like when we were attacking the lockdown from turtle, we couldn't get through the upper body, we're getting through the legs, okay? So as they frame up, we drop that right foot over the top. My left hand pummels an underhook. My left foot splits the legs, hits the floor, and I scoop it up with my right knee, triangling around my left ankle. Now they keep framing our bicep, so we're not able to uh, go to the mat, which means we're gonna switch the lock on our legs. Right foot is gonna curl under their leg. Your left knee is gonna curl around your right ankle. Now bring that left heel to your butt. Slide that left foot right on top of your partners. So you can feel their foot right in front of yours. Now my right hand, it's gonna pummel under the bike, or sorry, under the armpit, post my elbow, and look at the legs. I'm gonna put my right armpit over the belt, and I'm gonna roll over my right shoulder. Keeping the lockdown with my legs, I scoop with my left hand, I scoop with my right hand, connecting around their free leg. If you remember the banana split, let's go to it. Left hand on the ankle, connect my hands around the foot, extend and finish. If you're with the youngin, don't worry about the banana split, let go of the leg. Lockdown pushes down. Left hand scoops under the bicep, right hand scoops under the neck, and now I'll put in my hooks, finish with our choke. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Watch out for my pearl belt. Stop knocking the camera over. All right, guys. Let's hear some questions. How you guys feel with that? Drew, you got one, buddy? Can you show the, like, can you face away and show how you're moving your feet with the lockdown? Because I, I kind of can't see it. 
That is a great, great point. One second, guys. So I'm gonna turn this way so we can see the legs. Headquarters, collar grip, pants grip, knee of the hamstring, walk to the right. Knee drops through. They frame the bicep, so my left hand pulls. Now, when my left foot falls through, I curl up her ankle and grab it with my right knee. So I grab my left ankle with my right leg. Just because if she lets me go cross face now, I'm going to the mouth. But if they keep framing, now we'll switch our legs. My right foot will curl under her leg, and I'll curl my right ankle with my left knee. Now from here, my left foot is going to curl right on top of her foot. Now, some things you'll notice with this position, guys, I got to get a hold of her leg. So when I curl this left foot, I'm getting in front of her knee with my right leg. So when my right leg curls underneath, the lock is above her knee. It's up on her thigh. So now it'll be really easy for my left heel to curl to my butt, my left foot to go in front of hers, and I have the lock down. Now from here, my right armpit covers the belt. I roll over my right shoulder. The lockdown stays. I curl and grab onto that other leg. And now from here, we have our banana splits. And we also have, I'm gonna run into a wall a little bit. Curl the bicep, curl the neck onto the back. How'd that feel, Drew? That makes sense? Perfect, perfect. Anybody else? Yeah, I have a question really quickly. Yeah, coach. So essentially it's the same as the roll for the crucifix from turtle, right? With the leg position. Very, very similar. Rolling over our shoulder, using our leg entanglement to sweep their body over the top, bring them on top of us. Exactly. Great point. How's everybody else feel? Thumbs up. All right, man, let's try it out. We're having some fun. It's going to feel clunky at first. Make some mistakes, man. Who cares? It's jujitsu in your living room. Enjoy it. You'll find it, I promise, by the third rep. Ready? On three. One, two. Work time. All right. Remember, if you get lost, you'll see Beth over my shoulder running the same technique. We walk into the leg weave. Perfect. And now our partner's going to frame our biceps so we can't get a cross face. So we'll get an underhook with our left hand. Perfect. And now our right leg steps over, our left leg kicks through, and we curl our left leg around their leg, under our foot. Hold on, I got to help my purple belt here. This was perfect. No, this oh, was good. I had the wrong leg. I was like, and you're going to curl yeah. over the top. No, right here. Perfect. Okay. And now, from this position, guys, if your partner is still not letting you get the cross face, you're going to curl your right leg underneath their leg. You're going to triangle. So notice how Beth is almost up here, right? Like in a turtle position. She's going to curl her left heel to her butt so she can get. Top of foot to top of foot here and control this leg. Now, her right elbow is going to pummel. She's going to hide the belt with her right armpit way over here, turning to face the legs. Now, on her right shoulder, she's going to roll over, keeping the lock down. Bang, lands us right in truck. Using truck, we can attack the banana split, and we can make our way to the back. If you watched the UFC this weekend, you saw the truck a bunch. You saw the truck with twisters and banana splits. It was one of the most high-level uses of the truck I have ever seen in a UFC fight. It was incredible. Whew, sorry, I was geeking out there for a second. You, you All right, keep going. Tonight. Keep Whoa. going. I want to see these reps. Perfect. So headquarters will shuffle to the right. We set everything up like we're going to go smash pass to mount, but our partner frames us. They won't let us get a cross face. 
So we get an underhook, we step our right leg over, we kick our left leg through, and we just crisscross for a second. Just see what they're gonna do. They feel like they're not gonna let us cross face, so we'll switch. We'll take our right leg, curl it under our left knee, and then our left foot will curl to our butt until we feel our left foot end up on top of their foot. Nice. And now from here, you're gonna bring your right arm over. Hide the belt with your right armpit while you look at the legs. So you're on that right elbow. You're gonna to roll to your right shoulder. Keep your legs pinched with the lockdown on. It's gonna turn them with you. Roll to your back. Perfect. We are in the truck. From the truck, I can navigate banana split, calf slice, twister, kick them away, and I can get to the back. Hook the bicep, hook the neck. My time. Nice work, Wendy. Very nice rep. Perfect. I told you guys who's going to get fancy, man. I am so appreciative of all you cats. You've all been training so much. It's really easy to chain together these super advanced techniques because of your commitment. So I, I, I bow to you guys. It's been really fun to be a part of. Nice, John. Right ankle. Wrapped up under your left ankle. Perfect. We're going to bring our right arm out. Take that right arm and go armpit to the belt. We're going to roll over our right shoulder looking at the legs. Nice. Here's the lockdown. Here's the back from the truck. We can let go of the lockdown as we make our way to the neck so we don't hurt any white belts. No white belts harmed in the making of this technique, please. Thank you very much. Nice, Thomas. Very nice. Exactly, my friends. It should very much feel like Coach Nick was talking about how we roll through the crucifix. It's going to be the same kind of motion, but just using their legs. Perfect. All right, Shalane, let's see it. Let's see it. We'll go uh, headquarters. Nice. All right, other side. I'm down, I'm down. We move to the headquarters. Perfect. They're framing up really well. They won't let us get a cross face. So we'll go underhook instead. And here comes our leg work. Kick the legs through. We'll just check to see if we can make it to mount. If she won't let us, then we'll go right ankle, curl it under our left knee, find the lockdown with our left foot, foot to foot. And now my right hand's going to go armpit to the belt. Looking at the legs, very nice lane, all the way to our back, because now we have mat options, banana splits, back attacks, super clean purple belt, nice job. All right, my friends, let's switch, bottom to top, bottom to top. Okay, so junior student, you can run through this rep with Beth and I. Uh, if you're on a gi dummy and you want to just keep going, go ahead, this next round is yours as well. Okay, so that's gonna go so you can see it in different, a little different perspective. All right, so she goes to headquarters first, just like our cats. Now, her left knee is kneecapping my hamstring, jamming up my leg so she can walk her right leg out. So her knee can shoot the gap. Dang, very nice. Now, I know what's coming, okay? I don't wanna get cross faced. So I'm gonna get my hands in here, and Beth needs to respond appropriately. She's gonna step over her right leg while pummeling her left hand. I'm still gonna get my hand in play, but notice how she's got that hand around my back now. Right, she can really affect where I go. If, if I make a mistake, she's gonna end up on my back anyway. All right, now, she's gonna slide her left foot through, so she's gonna kick it between my legs. Typically, we'd be really worried about our opponent trying to knee bar us here. But that's why Beth's gonna get both knees down and cross her ankles. She's not gonna give us access to the knee bar. But I don't let her go to the mount either, right? I'm still framing up. So her right leg is gonna curl underneath my leg and she's gonna switch the lock to the other side. Perfect. Now, remember, you want the lock high up on their femur. So your other leg, relax, purple belt. Relax. There you go. Because you want this leg on top of my foot. Nope, nope, nope. So put it down. Yes. Check out best speed, right? It can take a second to figure the lockout. 
you got to get your right leg curled under your left knee. Your left foot curls to your butt so it can lay back down and go top of your foot to their calf, kind of on their shin. Now from here, that's very much in the turtle, right? Like she's, she's on top, she's stable. She's gonna take her right arm off of the grip and bring it over to where she ends up with her right armpit over my belt. She's gonna look at the leg. She might even reach for this free leg as she rolls over her right shoulder. She doesn't stop until she gets to her back, right? She wants me to be hips in the air on her belly, her on her back. She kept the lock down. She connects around my legs. Junior student, be really careful here. You're going to start extending the legs. Banana split. Let go of the leg with your hands. Kick the lock down away. Left hand underhooks the bicep. Right hand underhooks the neck. Find the back. Make sure you finish. Don't do all that work and not finish, my friends. Let's see. Does anybody have any questions? They end up, um, co uh, Professor, uh, they end up kind of more towards your top of your rib cage, right? Yeah, that's a great point. So when we make it to our back, we want them to kind of fit their hips sitting on top of our belly. So right where our ribs and our pelvis, this, like we'll treat those like the lines, we want their hips to land right there. Okay. So that way I can feel them and still articulate with my hands and my legs. Thanks. Does that make sense? Yeah, my partner has no bones, so I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfect. It, it's it's going to work out really well. And you don't have to worry about no ligaments. Just hammer that banana splice. It'll be good. Does anybody else have any questions? All right, thumbs up. You feel good. I know we're going deep water tonight. You guys are doing awesome. On three, one, two, work time. Remember, if you get lost, Beth is running the same technique over our shoulder. You'll be able to see it and hop in with her rep. Starts off with the headquarters position. We're gonna start walking that right leg out so our left knee can drop to the floor. Our partner's gonna frame that bicep. They don't wanna give up the cross face. So we're gonna curl an underhook. From the underhook, we're gonna step our right leg over, slide our left leg through, crisscross our ankles, go both knees on the mat. Perfect. As if we're going to still think about trying to make it to mount. But our partner's a beast. They don't give up the cross face. So here's where we switch the lock. That right foot's going to curl under all the legs. Your left knee's going to curl around that right ankle. Their foot should be sticking out of your triangle to where your left leg ends up foot on top of their leg that's sticking out. Now we'll take that right hand out. Right hand over the belt. So armpit to belt, we're gonna face their legs. Your right elbow on the floor. Then you're gonna put your right shoulder on the mat and you're gonna roll through. Keep the lockdown on. Attacking the truck. Ooh, twister from the purple belt, very nice. Don't twist her, nobody, or at least don't tell anyone I taught it to you, okay? Professor Alex, <laughs> No, no, no. Can't wait to write about it. <laughs> Good work, my friends. Nice, Wilsons. Very nice. Give dad the stretch. Make sure he's stretching out those hamstrings. Nice, Quan. Yep, face the legs, over the shoulder. Watch out for the couch. Perfect. Very nice, very nice. Super clean. There we go. Yep, right over. Yep, right shoulder over. We're going to roll over our right shoulder. Perfect. He's going to go with us. It'll be easy. Just right over the shoulder. Hey, very nice. Now, left hand's going to hook the bicep. Nice. Right hand's going to hook under the neck. We're going to climb our way to the back. That's okay. This happens sometimes. Right hand going to go under the neck and just slide our way up to the chair. Oh, he was hiding from me that time, bro. He just don't give up his back. Come on, John. Let's go, buddy. 
Nice, Coach Nick. That headquarters spot is money, man. So many options from there. This is just one of many, right? I, I really enjoy the leg weave. I think it's a pass we all should be very, very comfortable with. It just shuts down a lot of the open guards. But there's other options, of course. We'll get there. There we go, youngin. Yep, we'll sit on the foot. Perfect. Walking to the right, drop the left knee through. Nice left hand underhook, right leg steps over. Left foot kicks through. Left hand underhook. Coach Drew, you got a question? Yes, is there something that me and my son are doing wrong in the transition that we're not above the, our opponent's like leg just to get the lockdown on? Like we, like we get our feet there and then we gotta like shuffle up to make sure we're we, uh, Can you guys turn the camera down just a little bit so I can see and then we'll run through a rep together so I can watch you. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see it, fellas. Right. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. All right. Keep repping them out, my friends. You want to get a gang of these before this will ever feel comfortable, I promise. Nice, coach. Yep. Now, underhook, right leg step up just a bit. Perfect. So your left foot can kick through. Yes, and now we'll curl. So Youngin doesn't want to let us into the mount, right? Andrew's keeping the frame up, won't let us through. So we're going to take that right knee. Instead of going to the armpit, let's slide it up into his hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now okay. the right foot is going to curl under his leg and behind your left knee. Perfect. Yes. Okay. How's that feel? Much better, much easier. Awesome. Awesome, man. Now, right hand's going to go armpit over the belt. Oh, we'll finish it. Yeah, no, no halfway. Yeah, there we go. We'll roll over our shoulder. Oh, good job, young and Dad's big. You did well, buddy. Perfect. Straight to the truck. Nice job, Dad. To the back, too. Good work, my friends. That's much better. Thank you. Of course, man. Nice job. Good work, everybody. We'll fix our D's. Thank our partners. Whew. We'll stand up and close out. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, like I mentioned during the class, being able to go through that level of technique in any class, in person, like a seminar, anything, uh, that takes so much work, right? That takes so much preparation, not by me, but by the students, right? The people actually doing the technique, because there are so many concepts at play when we're talking about something as advanced as rolling back attacks, right? I say the word truck, it's like an island of it's like, what's a truck, right? Well, why are we talking about cars and jujitsu? You have to have such a broad understanding to accommodate a concept like a rolling back take such as truck that it takes months of development, right? Uh, it takes weeks of consistent training. So, I have so much respect for everybody in this class. I know some of us are a little new and that you can feel it. That's a lot of jiu-jitsu at once. Stay on the ride, man, right? It's so much harder to get back on. When you're staying on, we delve into just, we can get to the roughest waters because you guys are just such skilled sailors, okay? So thank you all so much. The thing that I would, I want to impress on everybody with a technique like this, in the beginning, it's going to feel clunky, right? I messed this up for years before it ever started to feel like I could actually do it against another person, right? Like I messed this up for years to train before I ever got the guts to try it. And the reason why I bring that up, guys, is that I held myself back a long time thinking it had to be perfect before I could try it, right? Like I gotta feel ready to go. Nah, man, like uh, the, we're learning as we go, right? How can I know what to do or how to drill it if I don't actually feel it with someone else? Please learn the technique, drill the technique, have the guts to make mistakes when you're working it with another partner. Who cares? What, they pass your guard and you tap? That's why we're here, homie. Like this is what this is about. So no, I don't wanna feel like I'm failing when I don't get the techniques to work. I want to be so grateful that I had the guts to try because I'm one rep closer to figuring it out. 
All right, my friends? And that's the same thing with life on the mats or off. All right? Thank you guys so much for training. We got Zoom classes all week. You know what's up. Hopefully, I'll see you on Wednesday because I'm going to keep going down this path. We've gotten too deep to turn around now. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to my Purple Belt partner. She crushed it on and off the mats. Great work, guys. We'll bow out. If you have any questions, please holler at me. You see my phone number in here. Thank you, Professor.